Hey guys, today we will learn how to factorize algebraic expression using the standard identities. To factorize an algebraic expression using standard identities, we must first compare the given expression with the identities and if it matches with an identity, then we can factorize it using the identity relation. But sometimes the given expression may not match with any of the standard identities like in the example shown. In this case, there is only one term that is a perfect square. This expression does not relate to any of the identities. How do we factorize such expressions then? Such expressions can be factorized by the method of splitting the middle term. Let's understand this method in detail. If required, then first we'll rearrange the quadratic expression in descending powers of the variables. Then we'll find two numbers, say a and b, such that the sum of these numbers should be the coefficient of the middle term and their product should be the constant term. For the given expression, we have to find a and b such that a plus b is equal to 8 and a into b equals to 12. Now, the numbers that satisfy both these conditions are 6 and 2. Next, we'll use these numbers to write the middle term as a sum of two terms. So, 8x can be written as 6x plus 2x. Then, we'll group the first two terms and the last two terms. In the next step, we'll factorize the first group and the second group individually by taking out common factors. You should be able to find common terms in both groups. If you can't find anything in common, then there's a chance that you may have gone wrong. So recheck the steps. Now, take out the common binomial term from both the groups. And that's it. We have factorized the given expression. Let's take another example. This expression cannot be factorized using identities. Let's try to factorize by splitting the middle term. Recall that the middle term needs to be split into two terms a and b such that the sum of these numbers is the coefficient of the middle term and their product is the constant term. For the given expression, we have to find a and b such that a plus b equals to negative 9 and a into b is equal to 18. What do you think? Which two numbers can satisfy both the conditions? The two numbers are negative 6 and negative 3. Express the middle term as the sum of negative 6x and negative 3x. Next, start grouping the terms and don't forget to take out the common terms. And finally, take out the common binomial and write the final answer. I'm quite exhausted now, so I think I should go. How about you practice some more factorization in the meanwhile? See you next time.